Welcome, Mr. Pariag. We want to start off with an overview of town and country into what is developed TT. Thank you very much. Um, before we get into what is developed TT, I just want to kind of briefly go over what is the town and country planning division. Uh, the town and country planning division is a division of the Ministry of Planning and Development established in 1969 and charged very broadly with the responsibility of executing functions of the minister under the Town and Country Planning Act, Chapter 3501. Uh, the mission statement of the division is to promote balance and facilitate the physical, social, and economic development of Trinidad and Tobago within the framework of the law through quality management of change in the natural and built environment in the interests of present and future generations. I was a little long-winded, but Develop TT follows from there. Develop TT is the newest online portal for construction and permitting and other e-services launched in collaboration with the Ministry of Trade and Industry. The Ministry of Planning and Development will have launched the system in 2020. It Develop TT, the system, it facilitates the submission of applications for planning permission, applications for building permits, and applications for completion certificates, in addition to a host of other e-services within a new digital environment. The construction permitting process commences at Town and Country Planning Division, and Develop TT allows for an unprecedented measure of coordination between the government agencies and the public, whereby a digital submission can be made, uh, bringing with it a lot of efficiencies, uh, removing the need to physically visit a regional office being one of the more prominent advantages. The platform creates a new paperless environment, reducing the paper requirement for an, a given application by over 80%. It facilitates simultaneous processing by the other government agencies and the decision letters and certificates that are generated by the system come with sophisticated security features that assure authenticity. It facilitates a measure of transparency in the construction permitting process that within reason, the country has not known or observed previously. The automation of the construction permitting process that is developed TT is one of three transformation projects currently underway at the Town and Country Planning Division, the other two being digitization and service delivery. The digitization project is one which envisions the task of digitizing all of the division's manual paper-based records and mapped records. It is intended to complement the developed TT system in that it makes the information available to all users at the touch of a button. Uh, service delivery, that project can be seen as an overarching project within transformation in, in itself. And it was embarked on in response to market research that identified and elaborated on the needs of the public relative to the services we provide. And I'm really happy for the level of research that you said would have gone into it. And just in terms of giving us an idea, because you started to answer the question already, but outside of COVID-19, why shift to online rather than keep paper processing and filing? And is there, a, is there a tangible amount of paper? How much paper will you save by going doing this instead of, in, instead of the normal way that, it, that these applications are processed? Well, prior to launch of Develop TT uh, in the manual world, uh, application for development was required to be submitted in quadruplicate. It's four copies. Um, I, there would have been substantial printing costs, and the division would normally busy itself in couriering these, these uh, approved plans to the various regional corporations. Uh, the switch to the new paperless environment is in keeping with the government's drive for digital transformation. 
Um, yes, COVID did um, emphasize the need for the new environment, but um, it was something we had in, in, in plan from a long time. It is also a ripe opportunity, given our existing paper storage rules, to do some housekeeping with respect to um, digit, uh, paper storage and vaulted, vaulted storage. The project is seen to align with the sustainable development goals, um, most prominent of them being um, the sustainable cities and communities and promoting good governance. As mentioned, it facilitates a, a, a gain unprecedented measure of transparency, accountability, accessibility that again has never been observed previously. And that is something that I'm looking at because just the fact that you're saying you need to have four copies of everything, anything that you're doing, and looking at the fact that as soon as you submit, it seems as though everyone who is supposed to have a copy of the information has a copy of the information. And even looking at the sheer amount of paper that would, this will be saving, and I'm thinking about storage as opposed to just even printing, is something that is fantastic. But looking at Develop TT though, you, you spoke about when it was started, but is this a first phase? Is this a pilot? Is this ready to use as it is? And will there be opportunities to tweak or amend as we go forward? Well, certainly we are always in the process of evaluation towards making the system better. Um, in terms of when it started, the system was launched in March of 2020 in our northern region and was most recently expanded to the south regional office on june the 28th 2021 um it is currently in limited production in the north and south regions and at these offices we've launched specific e-services namely planning permission applications status of land and stamp duty correspondence we would hope to launch um, this limited production services to the East and the Tobago regions, hopefully in December of 2021. And it is envisioned where we can roll out these services to the East and Tobago. And depending on how well our orientation and training sessions go with the various government agencies, we would hope to have uh, the system in full production by May of 2022. And definitely that's something we're looking forward to. I believe all right-thinking individuals would want this to work. Now, I want to discuss how it works in terms of somebody not necessarily coming off the street, but readying up their, their, their laptop or the device and looking to process an application. But we talk about that when we return from this break. We're speaking with Kerry Pariag, the Acting Director of Town and Country Planning Division, about Develop TT. Stay with us. Welcome back. We are going in depth on Develop TT with the Director of Town and Country Planning Division, Kerry Pariag. Now, Mr. Pariag, how does somebody engage with the system? What is needed to use Develop TT? Mr. Russell, to access the system, you would simply need access to the internet and a functional computer. From there, uh, one would have to register for access to the TT BizLink web portal, and once registered, a user can access the website using the same computer. Uh, all registration information would be available at the website www.developtt.gov.tt, and uh, built into that website, there's also a help desk where support services could be rendered at support at developtt.gov.tt. And with that, um, who are some of the players involved in the system? Stakeholders making sure that Develop TT is able to run that the way it's supposed to? So the system is spread across a, a multi multitude of government agencies, 
included and, and that generally involve themselves in construction permitting. Uh, to name the larger players, it, it would include the four offices of Town and Country Plan Division, the 14 municipal corporations, uh, all of the county medical health offices, I believe there are nine, and it's above 26, but we have 26 other government agencies currently interacting in various ways with the system. Uh, as we continue in the production environment, we would hope to incorporate and integrate any of the agencies left out in our initial launch. And as that process con of integration continues, I'm sure there are things that you're still working on because you, you spoke about the fact that research is playing a, a large part in what it is you're doing. Uh, you may not have the full answer yet, but normally, how much using paper, how much would an application or how long would an application for something like this take if you're going through the manual route, you're making four copies of everything, what kind of time frame would we be looking at? And so based on the dat the data gathering we did for this the launch of this project, uh, it was found that in general uh, an entire construction permitting the, the entire construction permitting process takes about one calendar year. That is from the submission of the town and country plan information to the application for completion certificate post construction. Um, Notwithstanding, the system has attempted to bring that process down to almost, um, well, let me correct myself here. The system would have forecasted one year for the entire. Yes, and in terms of, uh, but, and looking at that year and looking at the fact that Develop TT is online. There are things that are put in place so everyone is getting the information when they're supposed to. I can foresee, even if you think of like a 30-day period, having to do it less. And I'm sure as the system moves along, improves, it is going to get better. But just that 30-day period makes so much of a difference. So it is definitely something to be looking forward to. And with that, I, I can see there's a sense of responsibility because other agencies would be looking to see, okay, well, this works well, so I can use it for my own endeavors and basically move the business of Trinidad and Tobago as a country forward. Is that something you'd agree with? Yes, indeed, sir. Um, where, where there are agencies who would be willing to come to the table, uh, I am certain that um, the team would be able to assess how best they can integrate their business services with respect to how we deal with construction permitting in Trinidad and Tobago. All right, and I want you to remind us of... Players. Sorry, in I wanted to regard. remind us of that email, of the website again. Is it developtt.gov.tt? That is correct. All right, and is it that... What are some of those questions that people would normally ask in terms of frequently asked questions that would be addressed by a website like that? So our town and country has recently um, developed its own website. Uh, and in that website, there is a very useful FAQ section where some very basic questions are, are elaborated upon. Uh, I'm certain that the general public will find it to be very useful. But you know, some of the questions that we address is um, when do I apply for planning permission? Why is it necessary? Um, when don't I need to apply for planning permission is also another prominent question. But but certainly the section is particularly long and there's quite a bit of information there. I, if I could welcome the public to visit and um, send feedback. We, we are constantly updating that frequently asked question section and, and we want to make it as useful to the public as possible. And I visited the website and there's also the opportunity to speak with, uh, to have a human interaction as well. I think there's a chat bot. Indeed there is, um, but, but that is on the Develop TT website, which is a little separate from the two are distinct. Uh, so effectively where members of the public or users of developed TT are experiencing 
difficulty, uh, there is an automatic chatbot that will engage the user, run the database to see if there is any pre-existing information that would be of use. And if not, they will connect you to a real person All right, to and render the assistance you may need. Thank you so much for that. Now, where do you factor in, in, in this fabulous endeavor as director making sure that everything runs smoothly? What are some of those things that you pay special emphasis to? Well, we certainly try to troubleshoot the, um, the, the, the end users, but, but there's a certain amount of um, attention that needs to be paid to our backend processes to ensure that the permissions that are developed and, and the outgoing correspondence is um, well worded and presented well. Uh, the system, as we continue using the system, we will gradually improve on our ability to do so. All right, thank but you. Certainly, those back end processes are, are one of the more important factors to look at in, in develop, building out the system, making sure they are smooth and they do not create any further problems down the line. Understood. And in terms of building out, please remind me where is the next, I believe it's county that we'd be seeing, that we'd be seeing develop TT being able to uh, provide service offerings to residents who are there? We would hope to launch Develop TT in the East region and the Tobago region, hopefully by May of 2022 in full production and the 1st of December in limited production. All right, so definitely that is something that we're looking forward to. And as it rolls out, I'm sure we're going to get the feedback so that it's something that we can highlight once again. But we really want to thank you so much for sharing. Because many times when people talk about town and country, there are other things in terms of like who neighbor doing this and this and that and the other. But in terms of seeing how work is being done at the division to take the process forward so that we can move from a paper-based system to one that is transparent, one that is accountable, one that is so much more easy and efficient to use. And we want to thank you for giving us that information, Mr. Pariag, Director of Town and Country Planning Division. And we are grateful that on behalf of the entire TTT News team that you were able to join us. I'm DK Rosta. Thank you for joining.